Welcome to video 182 in series 3, and now I'm going to edit the gun NPC input script. I'm not entirely happy with the gun NPC input script as it is. On further testing, I'm finding that the layers to avoid doesn't always prevent friendly fire from happening amongst the NPCs, so I totally I want to totally eliminate uh, the chance of friendly fire among NPCs, so I'm going to go ahead and edit the script. So currently what I have here, layer to avoid, and I check that if whatever was hit by the raycast, it matches with layer to avoid, then to return. Now this doesn't quite work all the time, and uh, so instead of doing it that way, I'm just going to instead change the raycast so it's only for uh, the layers of interest. So only enemy layers, uh, like the enemy layers, only they'll get picked up by this raycast and then the damage will happen. So first of all, get rid of layer to avoid, delete that, and delete this whole bit right here. And change this to an if statement, it's not an else if anymore. And uh, going up, I'll add in a new variable. And this one is public layer mask layers to damage. So I'm going to I take a different approach. And then back in the raycast, going through all of this, I can add another parameter on here. And uh, that parameter is uh, basically the uh, layer mask. Okay, so let me just check that I'm using filling it in correctly. Okay, so I've got the start position, the origin, I've got my direction there, I've got the out hit info. Uh, I've got my range, good. I've got the distance. Okay, so the next thing is just the layer mask. So that was layers to damage. Okay, good. So I'll just save that, and that is it. Uh, now I just have to go back to Unity, and I'll go to my prefabs. So I'll go to the NPCs. I'll go to Evil Max, click on his assault rifle. And that's where he had his uh, gun NPC input script. Okay, so layers to avoid is gone now, and instead it's layers to damage. So his enemies, so I can check uh, quite quickly what his enemies were. Uh, they are, of course, the player, uh, they're the friendly, and also the enemy tag, so the golems. So I'll go back to that and set it to all of those. So that was friendly, enemy, and player. Okay, good. So now what about max ranged uh, ally? So for him, uh, his friendly, uh, his enemy layers rather, are enemy and evil max. So on his assault rifle, I just change it to that, evil max and enemy. Good. So that should take care of that and automatically uh, all of these uh, objects out here will have gotten assigned that. Good. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hit play and just make sure that, uh, yep, that they are actually able to uh, cause some damage. Okay, so that's the max, and uh, he's detected an enemy, and he's going off to, uh, well, shoot the enemy. And yep, no problem, he's shooting that enemy. And the evil maxes off in the distance are shooting the golems as well. And, uh, well, that's pretty good. Uh, no complaints with that. And let's see, uh, the maxes shoot each other. Yep, no problem, they are shooting each other and all good. All right, so that's excellent. So that was it, uh, and if you had a larger crowd, then you'd be able to see, so I probably, uh, that wasn't such a great demonstration. When If you have a large crowd of uh, ranged NPCs, then you'll see it come into effect uh, that this uh, uh, approach instead will result in a no friendly fire amongst uh, the NPCs who are friendly to each other. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.